Hi and welcome to Poly Originals with Fiona Abel Smith. Today I'm going to cover another goose egg, but this one's going to be slightly different from the previous video I did in three ways. Firstly, I'm using Fimo Soft rather than Kato Poly Clay. Secondly, I haven't actually got a plan for this one, I'm just going to make it up as I go along. And thirdly, this one does actually go wrong in the middle, as you'll see where I stop and do a bit more talking. So if you want a few tips and techniques as to what to do when your kaleidoscope goes wrong, watch it through to the middle and listen to what I've got to say. And hopefully you'll see that even if something doesn't turn out quite as you wanted it to to start with, you can pull it back. Hope you enjoy watching this one. I'll catch up with you at the end. Okay, so for the egg I'm planning to do today, I thought I'd have yellow, orange, green, and purple, and then some white with black being my dark, so that's the light and darks. And I'm also going to use as a background color, the blue um, done as a Skinner blend to create a sort of the same sort of background in various places in the kaleidoscope cane. So as per normal, I've already made some of my Skinner blends up. So here we are, that's one sort of selection. Nice little blend, orange to yellow, green to yellow, purple to white. And then I've also done this one. So we've got green to yellow, orange to green. And then as before in the previous um, goose egg I did, I've already made some of the inserts. I'll add in to the bigger bits. And I've made what I call a border cane, um, which is just a stripy one, because it's nice to have just something that goes through the um, cane as well as all the the shaped elements as well. And then I mentioned the blue, so I've already done myself some of the Skinner blends with the blue just to have as a bit of a background. Now, as I said before, this isn't um, a tutorial video. This is just simply going to be a time-lapse video of me showing you how I make the kaleidoscope came to cover my egg. And this one, I don't have as much of a plan as the previous one. I'm just going to make it up as I go along. So we'll see what happens. Okay, right, I'm off to start working.
Okay, so I've cut down through and cut myself several slices just to give myself a rough idea of what the pattern was going to look like. And I'm not very happy with it. As far as I'm concerned, the blue and the green are too cold. Although I wanted quite a lot of blue in the background, the orange which was supposed to jazz it up a bit and make it warmer just hasn't come through enough. So there's several things I can do. I can obviously just leave it and just go with it. But I went on a workshop with Sarah Shriver many years ago now. Um, and there was a tip she gave partly dealing with kaleidoscope canes and what she basically said was that if you're not happy with it change it now I'm not going to show you the way in which she changed her canes because obviously that's part of her workshop but it was like a light bulb moment for me and I suddenly thought so if I don't like a cane I can just add an extra bit in so I'm just going to make a couple of extra elements and I'm going to add them into a little bit of the cane and then I'll bring you back when I've done that and we'll see if it looks any better and whether I'm any happier with it so that would be my tip for doing this sort of thing if you're not happy this is polymer clay we can change it Here we are with the finished egg. I sanded it with 240 grit, 600 grit, 1500 
and then 2000. And it's beautifully smooth. So there is this finished egg. Now this one, um, again at the moment, I've just buffed that to a light sheen, but I know I'm going to do this one to a full um, nice bright shine on the buffing wheel because when it was wet, it looked really good when I was um, sanding it. So that's always another tip. If you want to know how something looks like when it's going to be varnished or if it's going to be sanded and polished to a high sheen, make it wet. However it looks when it's wet, that's how it will look when it's um, polished or varnished. So there it is. There is the finished egg. That was my experiment. So hopefully it's given you a few tips as to if it does go wrong, how you can get it back. And also proves that you don't always have to have a plan and all of the clays work. And there's the finished egg. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to like, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. There will be some more step-by-step um, -step tutorials coming up, as well as some of these fast-forwarded um, videos showing you what I do in some of my more complex forms of polymer clay. See you next time. Bye.